three, two, one, go! And away go the Wacky Racers on another round of the Wacky Race. Wacky Races is a kart-style racing game released on the Dreamcast back in 2000. It was the first game on the Dreamcast, and possibly ever, to feature cel-shaded graphics, predating Jet Set Radio by a few weeks. The game starts with a hub world of sorts and a few different locations to visit. After traveling to one of the designated areas, you can enter an event if you have the required number of stars. Beating challenges will earn you more stars and more things to do. Wacky Races starts off with basic single race challenges, but as you progress, new game types become available, including a full championship and even a scavenger hunt where you have to locate 10 monthly trophies and still finish in first place. The actual racing is pretty good for a game of this vintage. First, the tracks are mostly excellent, with plenty of variation in their design, lots of elevation changes, and are of a good length. The item system in Wacky Races is also different than most titles of the genre. At the beginning of each race, you get to map three items of your choosing to the X, Y, and B buttons of the Dreamcast controller. As you progress through the game, new items become available that make this feature more useful. Then, you must collect tokens that are scattered about the track. These are then used to pay for the privilege of using the item. Each item can have a different token value, so using this shield requires two tokens, while using this hover power requires four. The AI in Wacky Races is of the rubber band variety. No matter what, everyone on the track is always in a large bunch. This makes proper use of the items a must. Sometimes you need to save your tokens to equip the shield at the end of the race, or other times you'll be spamming an offensive attack to overtake first place, and other times you'll be hovering over water to an easy finish. It can occasionally be frustrating to lose at the last second due to no fault of your own, but generally speaking, every race ends in a tight finish, and it's all a ton of fun. Graphically, Wacky Races is a real treat. The cell shaded effects applied to the racers was pretty impressive back in 2000. It's outclassed by today's games, but is still visually appealing. The rest of the game shares a similar cartoon style with exaggerated polygon models and super bright, sharp textures. It all blends together beautifully, giving Wacky Races its own unique style that holds up well. Even better, the game features true anamorphic widescreen support for modern televisions. The only issue I have is the frame rate is very inconsistent. You can turn off the cell shading, which helps things out, but even then, the game fluctuates greatly. The audio here is fantastic as well. Many of the cartoon's original voice actors were brought back, and it shows. They all sound authentic and match the source material. The developers also did a good job of not overdoing it. Despite playing for a few hours straight, the audio samples have enough variety and didn't repeat often enough to become annoying. The music is a bit lackluster, with a few simplistic tracks repeating throughout. The quality is fine, but there is a lack of variety. This is likely due to the fact that Wacky Races has no load times. The game is constantly streaming data off the disc, and there are absolutely no load screens to be found. It's actually kind of amazing, and adds to the enjoyment of the title. You never have to wait for anything. You can go quickly from race to race without anything breaking up the action. It's hard to find much to fault with Wacky Races. About the only thing that ever annoys me is the camera. Because some of the racers have very tall cars, they can sometimes block the view of the track. The tracks are generally very wide and easy to memorize, so this isn't a deal breaker, but can be frustrating at times. Wacky Races is a pretty awesome game. The developers did a great job staying true to the source material and creating a kart style racing game that feels completely different than other games at the time. I love the weapon system and how you get to equip your character rather than simply having random items scattered about the track. I enjoy the super bright cartoony graphic style that still manages to feel fresh 15 years later. 
Wacky Races has a few hiccups here and there, but overall, this is a terrific experience and there is a ton of fun to be had. 4 out of 5.